But when he got out of the house and stepped to a nearby river, I set on Jackson Island and was not careful not to be spot. Hey Benjamin, could you do the next session? Chapter 8, me Todd just summarize, alright? Okay, Hulk. So here's a summary. Benny, um, could you put the accent as well? No, I'm not gonna put my accent, since nobody's gonna understand me. This is a summary. People have to understand it well. So stop interrupting me, alright, Hulk? Okay, so without further ado, chapter 8. So the sun's brightness woke him up around 8 ish, and he heard the sound of boom. He spotted a ferry boat that was passing Jackson Island, frying cans over the water to see his carcass come up to the top. Hawk was really hungry, but could not start a fire because he feared that they might be seeing the smoke, and so he gave up. They, referring to the people on the ferry boat. They were hunting for him. On the ferry boat were Pat, Judge Thatcher, Becky Thatcher, Joe Harper, Tom Swarov, and his old aunt Polly. They were talking about Huck's murder, yes, quotation, murder. They even float loaves of bread to find his corpse. Huck slightly intimidated, said carefully. Out of many trials, Huck succeeds in getting one of the loaves and eats it. Huck thinks it's funny how they use good bread to find him. Happy as Huck is, he still feels sorry for his vanish as he made Widow Douglas and the people who cared about him angry. Once they left, Huck rest for three tranquil and peaceful days, all alone in the island, feeding on various types of berries and fish. Since they're all gone, Huck was able to make a fire any time he wanted. He wasted his time by counting ferry boats and stars in the river. The same thing all three days. Finally, on the fourth day, Huck feels pleased when he finds Jim while exploring. Jim at first thought Huck was a ghost. Huck is now delighted to think that he's not all alone in the island. Huck gets surprised when Jim tells him that he ran away, but kept her promise not to tell anyone. Jim overhears Wiz Watson that she will sell Jim for $800 and will be sent to New Orleans. Then he'll be separated from the family. That is why Jim escaped early, even before any decisions were to be made about Jim. They build a good friend relation and talks about superstition, which Jim knows a lot about, like the bird and the rain. And the failed investments by Jim. Jim was very superstitious believes that his hairy arms and chest are symbols and foreshadows of future wealth and is why he's not disappointed by the failed investments that he made. End of chapter 8